the pockets. I'm going to go plush. Yep, I'm going plush for the collar and the tongue. Mmm. Well, that escalated quickly, everybody. There it is, the Brooks Glycerin 19, along with my Frenchy drink there. Oh, so good. Good to be back in the studio. It's been a couple days, so here we go. 50-mile full review. I skipped the first impression. Basically, I actually, I said this in the first half mile of testing this shoe. Glycerin 19, feeling real nice. A roomy toe box, though and I'm feeling a little slick through my uh, forefoot. Gotta figure that out, but whoo, we're only, you know, a half mile in, but gotta say, kind of excited, Brooks, about these glycerins. I just knew immediately this is gonna be a fun ride. I'm gonna take this to 50 miles. I'm gonna skip the first impression. So here we go. Very excited. Good work, Brooks. I, the glycerin lineup is a little foreign to me. I did test the 18 last year but that was my first experience in the glycerin line from brooks here we go 10 millimeter drop from heel to toe 31 in the heel 21 in the forefoot women's size 8 men's size 9 there it is on your screen let's just confirm in my size i believe we're looking right about nine ounces yes out here i'm getting 9.1 ounces there's my score 6.5 out of 10. we're looking at a multi-layer mesh i gotta say very breathable through the toe box. I would never order a, a black colorway just because it attracts the heat in the summertime, but that's what Brooks uh, sent to me, so that's fine. Let's just make sure, yes, a fully gusseted tongue. Good work there, Brooks. I will say on the upper, inner lining, a little alert, a little warning, don't wear this shoe with slick socks, slick running socks. In the winter time, I'm always opting for, most often for uh, thick, warm socks on my feet and they gripped really nicely with the inner lining. However, uh, what's the name of the sock company from Australia? Steigen, S-T-E-I-G-E-N. That is my go-to running sock for the summertime when it's hot out and your feet are sweating a little bit more. Um, I could see the shoe being too slick, this inner lining inside. So take note of that if you do pick up the Glycerin 19. Let's do the heel counter test. It's not, um, it's not like uh, all the Asics, it's not like the Asics Glide Ride 2. It does have a little bit of give there, but just enough, I would say, to keep your heel locked into the pocket. I'm gonna go plush. Yep, I'm going plush for the collar and the tongue. Mmm, good work. Overall lockdown. Did I already give the overall lockdown score? There it is on your screen. An overall score for the upper. Awesome scores. Just good work, Brooks, with this upper in the glycerin 19 we're looking at a dna loft uh midsole foam okay let's do the which is all right composed of eva foam rubber and air however they're putting air in there i'm not a oh my goodness brooks good job to me under my foot strike the 19 feels softer and more responsive and here's my ride in energy return for the brooks glycerin 19 it feels better then the 18, a little more lively under underfoot. And let's do the durometer. Like it's got some nice give to it, uh, but not, uh, I don't even know what to say. I'm very excited about this midsole. Like they just are doing a, it's feeling amazing under step. Okay, so that's why the scores are solid for the midsole ride and the overall score for the midsole. Uh, I, I, I wanna say, They've added more foam underfoot. I have not confirmed that yet through my research. If I find it, I'll put it on the screen. Just seeing, like, did they increase? It seems like, because I don't have the 18. I don't have it here, out here right now, unfortunately. But it seems like they've added more DNA Loft midsole foam uh, for protecting your feet from the ride out there. Okay, outsole, we're looking at blown rubber. Reminiscent, frankly, of the Ghost 13. Let's just compare it right here. Real, actually, okay, interesting. It felt underfoot very similar. There definitely is more outsole rubber on the Ghost 13 compared to the 19, Glycerin 19 here. But man, I am very excited. Uh, maybe just a little too much rubber for my liking, but overall, what I noticed in the Ghost 13, gosh, great, great stuff, Brooks. The Ghost 13, upper right-hand corner, also made it to 50 miles. 
and I'm noticing that their blown rubber is not too hard. Okay, it's not, even though there is a lot of rubber, it's not too hard to the, to the uh, you know, just pressing into it with my thumb right now and it doesn't feel hard underfoot out there on the concrete and the pavement. All right, seven out of 10 fit, true to size, no issues at all. Comfort, plush, seven, I'm gonna go 7.5 out of 10. Oh, I almost went eight, gosh, I almost, maybe I should have gone eight, but I'm gonna stick with 7.5 plush upper, great ride okay mm, great job brooks as well for my positive and drawback we're going midsole ride for my positive i can't resist doing that i almost forgot to mention though through the toe box is that it's coming across as a little roomy for me for my liking okay i wouldn't now given the weight i would never use this shoe for a tempo day um and in addition to the weight it just felt a little, when I want to go fast, I want to be a little more secure, a little more snug throughout the entire lockdown, whether it's the heel, the midfoot, or the toe box. And this toe box for my foot is just feeling a little wide. I almost had to relace the shoes inside the house the first time I laced up. Uh, but after about a mile or two, I did forget about the fact that my toes had plenty of room there through the toe box. Durability prediction? 500 miles okay i think it's just enough for that rub that rubber on the outsole a pretty you know standard uh score for the durability prediction how will i use this shoe who is it best for i remember for the 18 i was putting it a little bit more into the easy and steezy day category i'm gonna say daily trainer middle distance day long run day and easy day okay it's just a little more pep under step if you know what i mean uh for the glycerin 19 so uh tweeter alert 100 percent now definitely not a tempo day not a threshold day but this guy is going to knock out some really good miles for you if you're seeking out and who is it best for a comfortable ride and upper it's just a classic comfortable ride and upper all right moving on to that price point 150 dollars that uh that they <laughs> they know they can charge it they just they know what they have here and i don't like it i'm not going to give them uh, i believe i went about six or six and a half out of ten there's my score oh man i would be much more excited in that 130 price range maybe 125 but i think they know that they can charge it because it's going to accomplish a lot of different tasks in your training regimen and a lot of people are starting to send me photos of their shoes after let's say 400 500 600 miles i think the nova blast and the original glide ride were sent to me thank you uh very recently if you take this shoe past 500 miles if you wouldn't mind uh taking some photos especially of the outsole i'll be very curious to see how this outsole rubber is holding up after 500 miles all right there you go other shoes to buy on your screen um it's always difficult but i'm gonna throw out there the nova blast the infinity the nimbus and uh, even to a certain extent the clifton 7. it's it's they're all in similar weight categories that's why i'm putting them alongside the glycerin 19. all right shoe quick specs uh, soak them in one more time there you go 50 mile full review score 7.3 out of 10 there you go not bad okay it's very interesting as we dial in these running shoe testing everybody 7.6 and above is great it, it's it's not amazing okay amazing is over eight great is 7.6 um solid is 7.3 and then anything below seven is eh we got a little bit of work to do okay so 7.3 just a solid solid shoe overall all right everyone there you go i'm excited i think this is i think a lot i think a, i think this is a lot of people are going to buy this shoe in 2021 and i think they're going to really enjoy the ride overall and that question of the day here we go i know you've been asked this before but it's a fun one to think about and to you know there's just so many great minds out there and inventors out there maybe you're one of them all right greatest invention of all time oh such an impossible question there's just i don't know i like to he hear what people are throwing out there based on 
your background and knowledge of the world. Like there's so many uh, people out there with diverse backgrounds that watch this channel from all over the world. And so I'm really excited to read your comments down below about the greatest invention I mean, of all time, it's like, is it fire? Is it, no, what is it? Let us know down in the comments. All right, here we go. We'll toss it to the Brooks Ghost 13. Brooks Ghost 13, 50 mile full review. Good, good shoe as well. I don't know what the final score was on that one, but here we go. Brooks Ghost 13. All right, everyone, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.